What's going on, peeps? You yeah. know who it is, the infamous Ransom Bance. Alongside myself, Chase. False nine in the building. Yep, yep, yep. And we just got over the international break. Yeah. England, Italy. VAR. Bugging out, fam, Bugging again. Bugging out, big time. I can't remember one decent VAR decision, to be fair. It slowed down the game. Bro. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna to ruin football as we know it. It already is, to be fair. It's taking two, three minutes for a decision. And not even a conclusive decision either. The bro. fans in the stadium don't know what's going on. Um, when they brought it in, it bro, was meant put to... it up on the fucking screen, blood. Hey, precisely. You know what I'm saying? We've got exactly. big screens in the stadium. Let us see. What these men are seeing, fam, because at least then it brings the fans kind of into the game and it involves them. But it's, 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 it was meant to be brought in um, for clear errors or clear clear mistakes by the referee yeah. and that penalty. I can't say that it was a but clear mistake. But the ref didn't give the pen. The Lionel didn't give the pen. You could even, even the man it. that went down didn't even it really appeal. Obvious. It like went that. obvious. It went obvious. It went for a corner. Man. It was only when man was at the corner flag. Then it was like, hold in a second. He got a little word in the ear. That's all. Come on, man. That's Dead fam. So anyway, we were, we were, um, as you can see, we're not fans of this VAR bullshit. England, they 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 played well, I believe. Uh, again, off the back of the Holland result, um, but yeah, the, the VAR in it. It's, it is what it is. It is what it is. But I mean, nah. onto the weekend, we're back with the Premier League. Um, the game we all love. Uh, we've got uh, a good six, very good top six games coming top up this weekend. Six, definitely, bro. Big one, London Derby. Chelsea, Tottenham at the bridge. Um, Tottenham haven't won there in, I believe, nearly 30 odd years. And it's going to be 31 for me, blood. I don't see them winning. You know what? Nah, I reckon every dog has his day, and I believe on Sunday, <laughs> Tottenham are going to do it. I, reckon bro, I don't know, bro. I think this old dog's had it, bro. If Harry Kane's not playing, fam. Do you know what I'm saying? And it's like, for me, to beat Chelsea... And that back line, I think you need your shooter there, blood. They're at home. I mean, I don't know what their home form's like in general, but mm. one thing I do know is they're on decent form, bro. They're on decent form. They lost to Barca, but they played well. Do you know what I'm saying? Willian's on smoke at the moment. He's had a good international break. Yeah. Brazil played well. Yeah. Eden Hazard had another win. Yeah. Kante had a win. Do you know what I mean? Their man will be confident. So what, you, you reckon the, the, the morale coming off the back of the international break? Absol absolutely. Overland. Plus, they've played well consistently for at least the last six weeks. And Eden Hazard is always on smoke against Tottenham. I feel, no, like I feel, you. I feel you. I just feel like this season, um, Spurs have shown a lot of backbone. And especially mm. what they did for me. In uh, Fair enough, over the two legs against Juventus, we all know what happened. Yeah. They got spun two mm. in two minutes. But over the course of the season... They've um, they showed a good mentality, man. I, I, I just feel that they could potentially go to the bridge and pick up a 2-1 victory. I'm going to go for 2-1 Chelsea. 2-1 Chelsea, cool. Next up, Liverpool Crystal Palace, bro. Ooh, we all know what happened in 2013-14. Um, it's just at Selhurst, bro. Like, I don't know why, but them man can play at home. That's what I'm saying. Like Any team that goes to Selhurst Park um, is going to have a tough time yeah. picking up the three points. Like to be fair, you'll be good. At, you'll be ha you'll be glad to go away with a point from yeah, Selhurst Park. To be fair, there's no bro. shame. To be fair, because even us, we were two 0 down at half time. We had to pull that. We had to pull that. Ninety third minute. You, ninety minute. Um, obviously Liverpool. We know what they like going forward. Um, but I believe that Palace are gonna get something out of the game. Yeah. I'm not going for a Palace win. Um, I'm going for a score draw. Yeah, I think a score draw is a sensible for a score one, draw. but I think it might be a 2-2 two -two or something. But, I was going to say the same thing, 2-2, two -two, uh, mainly because Liverpool just can't defend. <laughs> it's as That's simple as that. That's the only thing. If they could, as as then I would think that they would deal with them comfortably. Yeah, but yeah. But you just don't know. Run, you don't know what Liverpool's going to turn up. You always know they're going to score. But you don't know what's going to happen at the other at end. At the other end, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? So, I don't really know. Alright, cool. On to our game. United Swansea Ooh. at OT. We're actually going to be at that game, um, so it's going to be... Uh, Extra tense, blood. You know what I was there? You know it's going to be raining as well, blood. A man's not even covered over and that. Like, it's all peak. Yeah, we've got to make the journey three hours up the M-Way um, to see what I, I, I call dire football at the moment. But it's... it's it I is, a bit, it is, it is a bit bad. It is a bit bad, but... Dead blood, but you know what? Yeah, we're at the business end of the season. Just give my three points. Yeah, yeah. Just, let's just get the W. That's let's all just I care get about. the W. Right w in a clean sheet. I'll be happy with yeah, that. That's man. why I'm going for two 0 no. We just need to get over the line with the W, fam. I'm not expecting, I'm not expecting anything amazing, blood. Like to be honest, like our top players aren't. None of them are really on smoke at the moment. So I can't unless everyone's on smoke and they click at the same time. Yeah. I can't see anything mad. No, I feel that. No. I feel that. I have no really disagreements with that at the moment. Although. I'm not one of the fans that are throwing Jose under the bus, 
Although the football is dire at the moment, I do think he can change it around. I'm sticking with him. There is more players that need to be signed. There's more players that need to go. The squad's not fully his, but yeah, like I said, just collect the W and let's just move on because there's bigger fish to fry. We've got Tottenham in a couple of weeks. We've got Man City next week. Um, I'm not looking at that guard of honour. I don't want him to win the league at the Etihad against United. So yeah, that's long. That's all that matters at the moment. That's all that matters at the moment. Arsenal Stoke, bro. Mm. It's interesting because it's mad. Um, I don't think any of the January signings have really worked out. Yeah. I think Lucas has been decent. He's coming to a settled team. Tottenham have got their way of playing. Cool. But when you look at Mickey, when you look at Sanchez, when you look at Aubameyang... They haven't really gelled straight like, away. None of them have really come in and just hit like, the ground running. Like, like, Arsenal like, fans will, will, will beg to differ only because of one game. And yeah. they'll talk about that Everton game when yeah. they just ripped them apart. In but the then first they lost but the next game. There you go. And, and I think they lost the game before that. So... Yeah. Like obviously they 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 they're through to uh, the quarters of the Europa, yeah. but league wise, bro, I swear they're like what seven points off Chelsea, and then Chelsea yeah. themselves are five points off Spurs. Yeah, it's all mad. Arsenal are quay down so. You know so. what I mean? So it's one of them ones where like no one's really on form. So even though Arsenal should win this game, like I think it's not gonna be a it's not gonna be like a slap down, bro. I reckon a two one thing maybe. Precisely, I was gonna say the same thing. Two one Arsenal. Um, I just believe because they're at home, they'll just edge it. But Stoke will give them a run for their money. And I wouldn't be surprised if Stoke, uh, Stoke sorry, catch a draw, to be fair. Everton versus Man City. Uh, that's the 5 kick kickoff on a Saturday. Foregone conclusion, really. Um, <laughs> yeah, you'd think so, innit? You would think three so. Three points man. closer to the title. I cannot see it going any other way, to be fair. I don't, regardless of the way other guys try to say Unless, that. unless... City have kind of got one eye already on the title. Pep, one eye. You know, above it, Pep's a savage. Like I feel like even if you're five nil up, you you'll try. That's what I'm throw. saying. So I'm but saying. I can't see them. Allardyce like, just has a knack of just stifling top managers. He just does it. His his football just annoys. Yeah, but like. did you did you see the Stoke game? The David Silver yeah, goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what City are on right yeah, now. City are ruthless. Smoke, bro. The, the ruthless. That was within like eight minutes, eight, nine yeah. minutes. The game was over. That was it. So yeah, City are on kicking man when they're down, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you know what it was? I'm going for um, really on that, bro. I'm going for free, free, free one City. The reason why is because ever at home, I do expect them to to push somewhat. Yeah. Um, and and that push leading to a goal. So free, free one City for me. We reckon. I think City, I can't see City not winning, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? As much as you'd like to think, ah, I think Everton will score, so I say, yeah, 2 1, bro. 2 1. I think it's going to be a tight affair, though. You reckon so? Yeah, I reckon every, like, common sense tells you it's going to be a slap down, but Allardyce. I don't know, bruv. Even if Allardyce has to set up and try and win it on a set piece, he'll do that, bruv. Yeah, he doesn't no, he's care. A bastard still. He doesn't care, bruv. Like, he will like, literally do that 10 man on the goal mouth thing. Like, he will do it, bruv. Yeah, he can. Everything can set up in a way to start for Man City. They've got the players defensively. And they've got um, the pace in behind, bruv. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, want to yeah, use um, Walcott or Balassi and that. Like, they have pace on the counter as well. So I don't think it's going to be a quick slap down, but I think City will just get the job done like yeah, they've been doing. Yeah, yeah, un- unfortunately. That relegation zone, that relegation dogfight. Dogfight, blood. Somewhere that I can gladly say, because I made the right choices in life that I've never experienced, my life to win stuff. Um, but we've got a very precarious situation going on in the Premier League right now in terms of the bottom half of the table. Um, it's tense, It's blood. peak. Obviously, West Brom, as everyone knows, Pardew, dead out. Obviously, it's come through. <laughs> Tried to do a thing, but them and a seven points adrift yeah, they in 20th. They're as good as gone, bro. Yeah, ship is sailing far out. Mm. out I think out. they made that appointment thinking about the championship. Yeah, yeah, they I think must, so. They I must think have, so. They must have. Why must make have. a change exactly. that close to the end of the season, bro? Um, and then from 19th to 12th, there's only a six point gap. And there's a couple six pointers in six there. Six point gap. Well. Um, I've got a team. I've there's got a, team a couple here. six pointer games in You've there. You've got bro. Brighton, Newcastle, Swansea, Huddersfield, Palace, West Ham, Southampton, and Stoke. And then this week, you've got two six-pointers. You've got Newcastle playing Huddersfield, and then you've got West Ham playing Southampton. Where's the Newcastle game? At Huddersfield? Um, no, that's at St. James's Park. But then you'd expect them to win that. Yeah, you would. Um, and then the West Ham game, obviously, I don't know, uh, the majority, you probably would have seen what happened. That <laughs> where West Ham fans would just be no, West Ham fans, blood, I'm telling you. Coins, bottles. Them man at the kitchen sink, blood. Real talk. 
Oh, fam. It was, it was tense. I swear, <laughs> Abel Gold, he got licked to the head with a pound of coin. Yeah, bro. but we had to dip, had to get fam. Man, man, man left the stadium early because it's times mad. Are, times are a bit mad around them way there. Oh, but, all um, the fans. Those are not the fans you want to fuck with. Yeah, so. West Ham, especially being at home, they need to win that game. Yeah. They really do need to and win that game. And if they don't, that pitch is getting invaded because... That's what I'm saying. Again, so we'll see what happens there. Um, I believe out of those teams mentioned... Stoke are the closest to West Brom at the moment, but mm. I can't see Stoke going down for some reason. They've, I think they've got the min, they've got the minerals, man, to do it to stay up. Yeah, I think they just got enough bastards in their team, blood. Yeah, like, they do. Just dig they some do. out, they blood. Do. You know the ones they there. Do. Looking at the table, I reckon it's probably going to be between West Ham. Oh. I can see West Ham. West going. Ham go down, blood. I can see West Ham going. London Riots too, blood. I can see West Ham going. I can see West Ham wow. slipping. Because at the moment the morale's they got, got bowlers going. as well. Yeah, they have, like they Lanzini have to, and that, sell bro. Lanzini's it's cold. It's got to be a fire cell, blood. It's peak, bro. Oh, fuck. But I can see West Ham going. The third, I'm not too sure. It's too tight at the moment to say. But what look on form? I, I think Huddersfield are staying. I think they've got enough about them to stay. Southampton are in there. Southampton are in there, but I feel like Southampton just will just do enough, bro, because they've got the quality. And I just can't see them getting relegated again, bruv. Do you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. nah, not them. Like, it's a bit mad, fam. I'm saying, for sure, West Ham. I'm sticking to that. West Ooh. Ham, I think, are definitely going to go down this season, I know bro. there's going to be a few West Ham fans that are... Ugh. But, is, bruv, like, you know what I mean? Like, the relegation saw... zone doesn't discriminate. Like, exactly. When you lot went down the last you, time, I thought they were too good to go down. Are you getting the, um, the foe and then man getting relegated? Like, there I didn't go. see that coming. There so. you go. So And you ain't got a default right now. So Exactly. Man, I'm now to bitch, bruv. It's too good to be at West Ham. Or the way they're playing at the moment is yeah. too good. The only thing that I can say about West Ham is um, David Moyes, you bastard, bruv. This is what you get, <laughs> This is what you get. Bro. But he started so well, blood. This is what you get. This is David you get. Moyes started no so well, blood. He I had the juice, no blood. I have no sympathy for you. Give me the worst year of my life as a football fan. I don't care, bro. It's true, it's true, bro. Moyes, like, what the fuck, bro? <laughs> Where did it all go wrong, fam? Like, man, man booked out of United, booked out in Spain, got another job here, booked out, and then got another job again. Yeah, bro. I don't like, know. what is going bro, on, they fam? Just, bro, they just keep on giving, bro. You know, there was all that before they give a black man a goal, blood. You, oh, come on, blood. You really want that, blood. I'm telling you, blood. If Moyes gets another job before I see a, a black man, another black manager yeah, in done. the league, I'm I am done, 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 I'm done. with I'm football, done. blood. I'm... Man, like Mo Salah. Mo Salah. Chicken Tikka, Mo Salah, bro. He's been on smoke this smoke. season. Smoke. Bag of debates, should he get player of the year if De Bruyne wins the Premier League? Yes. That's what I'm saying. In yes. my opinion... He's been a better player. Yeah, I think that Mo Salah deserves it. But if Kevin De Bruyne did get it, I wouldn't say that Salah was robbed, blood. For the simple fact that I feel um, how good you are as a player and how vital you are to your team are not the same thing, blood. Yeah, 100%. Because Mo, Mo Salah is bagging the goals... He's doing what he does, yeah. But at the same time, even though Kevin De Bruyne is not scoring the goals, blood, I think he's crucial to the way Manchester City play, blood. Yeah. I believe if he doesn't play, we're not watching the same yeah, game. Yeah, things break down. Do you it's know what I'm saying? Things break different, down. Yeah, There's not the fluidity. Team. There's not the pass before the final ball because that's what uh, yeah, he plays. Yeah, because of where he plays time. as well. Because of where he plays. Whereas with Salah, if you take Salah out of the team, put someone else in. Liverpool don't play any differently. They just maybe don't have the same output. Do you know what I'm it saying? It might not be as effective. But exactly. The way but they, I think the they'll way still they win. Yeah, Instead yeah, of winning 4-1, yeah, 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 yeah. they might win 2-1 or 3-1. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I believe you. Do you still. know what I'm saying? So, But I think De Bruyne is key, bruv. Like, I think he's a key cog in the component. And if we both have a great season and my team wins two trophies and your team wins none, I give me the award, blood. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so true. it's like, I think that as an individual, Mo Salah definitely deserves it. That's what, the, that's what the award is, though. Yeah. It's not, it's not, ah, uh, that's what, that, that's all But it, again, it's down to interpretation, isn't it? That's the way man been by Because look at Kante, way. for instance, yeah. Man will say Kante was player of the season. But he didn't really do bits, but he Fancy was crap, crucial yeah. to the to way that Leicester played. Do you yeah, understand what I'm saying? Yeah, because they won the league. Okay, cool, but they had to win the league. So what? If they didn't win the league, if they didn't win the league, does he become any less crucial? No, no, he doesn't. But I feel like to, to he only team. won it because they won the league. Do you understand? Because they said the I'm most saying. crucial component of the um, Premier League winning team was Angolo Kante. So I feel like man's always going to win something like that. Even though he wasn't the glamour, he was the guy that made allowed them to play the way they played. There couldn't be a diagonal to, to Mahrez and Vardy, blood, man like Vardes and that. They couldn't be that without 
Kante, if you yeah, take no, that out of the you. midfield, they die, blood. They don't finish in the top six, blood. I you saw what you. happened when they sold I him. You. Do you know what I'm saying? But obviously with that, yeah, that's Kante for Chelsea. We have to look at it on the whole scale of the whole Premier League. Yeah. Who's been a better player? Yeah, I just think that Mo Salah just bits it out. He's just bits it out. <laughs> it's dumb. It's every week. Every week. Every it's dumb. Man, really. forgetting about how much goals. he misses because he scores so much. Thank blood. you very much. We were talking about it earlier today. Bruv, man has missed the most Trump clear cut, cut opportunities. In the Premier League, but he scored the most goals. The reason why a man gets stick on Lukaku here yeah, when he misses is because in these games, he might not score. Yeah. Whereas Mo Salah will miss three, three clear but cut opportunities, but he'll score four missed. in the same game. And that's how you shut people up, by putting the onion in the bag. And that's, that's what in, I'm in, saying, blood. And that's why when they used to criticise Andy Cole and say he needed five chances to score one, no, 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 that wasn't not only was that a load of shit here, yeah, but stretch, when you look at the amount of goals that he scored in the season, blood, if you're getting into the position, yeah, because at top level football, mm. you maybe get two chances a game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. they're not two full chances. You might get a half, a half chance, chance where a man and said, then, oh, then like a he should have scored that because of the level of player or you would expect a top class player, but they're not clear cut opportunities. Yeah. When you're carving open four or five at the top level, you got to take your hats off. You, you gotta go. take your hat. So, you go. so for me, yeah, Mo Salah. Mo Salah, Mo Salah, player of the season, um, most goals in the Premier League. He might even break the record, which I do believe because I think he's got twenty eight. Yeah. The record for Premier it's League 31. is thirty one. Four goals, eight games to go. At the run rate that you've been going at, you should just be eating that record in the next two, three games. Exactly. No Unless my man starts snatching at chances because he can smell it, bruv. That's the uh, only thing. I don't thing. think but so. Don't he's, think so. He's, he's, just, he's as composed as... He's killing it right anything. now, blood. He's killing it. Liverpool are playing confidently. And I think the style of football they play, he's always going to get chances. Yeah. He's always going to get chances, blood. Them man play to just create, innit? So, I think Mo Salah. But this weekend, for my player... On smoke, I'm gonna go for Hazard, blood, because I feel like Hazard. I think it's personal with Tottenham. He just don't like them, blood. Every you time reckon? he plays them, he just turns up, bro. Remember last season with the slide and that, blood. Like Hazard, right, just bins them and slid on his knees, blood. He didn't do nothing, but he against Tottenham, he just like he hates them, blood. I don't know. Well, pff, I'm gonna run for you, my G. This week, my player to watch out for that I reckon's gonna be on smoke, Sonaldo, Hungmin Son. Yeah, in that same game. Yeah, I reckon. That's the reason why I'm going 2-1. That, see that guy, yeah? He's like an assassin. Like. You, 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 you don't notice him. You mm. don't pay any attention to him. And that's when he's... And that's when head top to blood. Yeah, you know what I was like? that's when he's more dangerous. Because yeah. you, you're, you're focusing on Ericsson. You're focusing on Delhi. You're focusing on no, Harry you, Kane. You're, you're focusing so on the names Ericsson. and that. Yeah, Dembele. And then, Bailey. And and then Son's, Son's just, just there. there. He's just there. He's there always. Nine times out of ten. So, that's for me. Son. Watch out, 2-1. And that was this weekend's preview. Um, let us know in the comments who you think is going to bang this weekend. Who's your hottest player of the weekend? Um, is it going to be Hazard? Is it going to be Son? Is it going to be someone else? Is there another game that we should be watching out for that someone might bang? Let us also know who you think is going to be player of the year out of Mo Salah and Kevin De Bruyne and why. Um, get it popping in the comments. Man. Definitely, all clubs, no matter who you support, bloody, don't even have to be one of the main games. Get involved. Let get us involved. know. Who's going to be on smoke, blood? Hashtag on smoke. Who's going to be your player of the week, blood? Let us know. Does Mo Salah get player of the season? Why? Again, let us know. Let us know why he should, why he shouldn't. Also, any other further questions that you want us to bear up on the show, any other topics, any other things that you want us to, to, to talk about, let us know in the comments. Hashtag false nine, N, nine, N, E. I've been Chase. Ransom Burns. False nine, baby. Peace.